so gross. You about to tell stories and shit. Pass around a book or something. Listen, listen, everybody listen. This is, this is, this is, this is. Once upon a time, not too long ago. I'm not going nowhere with that shit. I'm just saying. Y'all are waiting. Uh, before I start my shows up, I like to uh, see what we got up in here. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Mexican Latino people, make some noise right now. <laughs> Like that's a 
a punk move. I ain't a punk. I'm a survivor. It's a difference, okay? If I see a seven foot sixteen nigga rope coming here right now, talking about he gonna rob us. I'm switching sides. I'm just letting you know. He gonna be like, everybody get on the ground. I'll be like, yeah, everybody get on the ground. This is a stick up, bitch. Cause I ain't no punk. I'm a survivor. You feel what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't never talked trash to the gob kids when I was at school. Y'all know the gob kids. There's somebody here right now plotting to kill y'all asses. Like, yeah. They be walking around with five trench coats on, got a fishnet stocking on their arm, and about 18 pistons in their face listening to Marilyn Manson records looking like extras from the Adam family. You know what the hell I'm talking about. Every time I saw them, I gave them compliments like, oh my god. Ooh, look at your nails. What is that, shellac? That's beautiful. <laughs> Look at your hair. I mean, it's black and greasy, but it works on you. <laughs> so when they show up and do a rampage at the school, they got to do it just like this here. <laughs> Move out the way, Jay. Because <laughs> I ain't no punk. I'm a survivor. You feel me? I'll give you another example. I used to work at Golden Corral. I see y'all have been to that nasty bitch before, too, have you? <laughs> As soon as you walk in there, it smell like diabetes, don't it? <laughs> Horrible, man. I used to work in the back washing the knives, the plates, and the forks with my friend James, you know what I'm saying? There was an old black dude named Fred. He used to wash the pots and the pans. Now, Chris Rock said it the best way. He said, old black men are the most racist people in the world because they've seen a lot of stuff, right? He goes, old black men are the most racist people in the world. They just are. Uh, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the Sleep in your dorm. 
I'm not sleeping here. That's all I'm saying. I used to hate it, man. I hate that. I used to love. I used to love school because some of the people were weird. Like there was always there's always one person you know that never took a shower before they went to class and shit. <laughs> some of them sitting here right now. They won't say nothing. They trying to keep their arms down. Like nigga, nigga, I'm gonna laugh, but I ain't gonna do this because if I do, everybody's falling out. Everybody is. Disgusting, man. Now, when I was in high school, though, it was different. A lot of people used to smoke, you know what I'm saying, and do all that different type of stuff. Speaking of school, I know y'all are, yeah, nobody up here is like 22 or 21. Anybody 21, 22? Yeah. Right, that's the senior class right there. That's the senior class. Look, let me ask y'all a question. Did y'all have ads for bullying when y'all were in school? Did y'all have that? Yeah. Y'all did it? Well, we didn't, nigga. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Turning to punk asses nowadays, that's what they are. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he bullying me! Bully him. Oh, he talk about me! Talk about him. Oh, he hit me with a car! Shoot him. I'm sorry. <laughs> and listen, I'm not one to joke about guns because we didn't have some tragedies happen within the last year. Rest in peace to all the children in Connecticut that went through that terrible thing. You know what I mean? It was just, look. There was another tragedy. The Dark Knight people, the Dark Knight people that went through the premiere, that was a sad thing too. And everybody that's lost their life on the campus, man, my heart goes out to y'all, you know, because I'm from Virginia, and you know, B-Tech, I, I remember all of that stuff. You know? But to talk about that massacre at the Dark Knight premiere, all I got to say is there was no authentic black people in that theater, okay? AKA niggas. There was no niggas in that theater. They would have had their guns ready. I'm sorry. As soon as he pulled his shit out, they were like, Shh, what the fuck wrong with you, bro? You better go somewhere with that bullshit, bro. We've been waiting two months to see this movie, all right? You better go shoot up Ice Age 4. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made it funny, People always get, people always ask when things happen like that, why do people do such things? What is it? What gets in their minds? Let me tell you something. It's the parody. That's all the hell it is. It's the parody. You know what I'm saying? That's the listen. I ain't listen. I don't get cliche like every other black comedian. What the hell? Why the hell is What we playing? What we, we playing? Hide and seek or some shit? <laughs> like I was saying, people always say, what happens? It's the parody, man. That's what it is. And look, I'm not going to get cliche up here and be like every other black comedian and say, oh, you should whip your children because y'all, when y'all have children, you ain't got to whip them, but put the fear of God in them. That's all you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Listen, white people, when y'all have children and they mess up, you look them dead in the eye and you call them a nigga and see <laughs> if that does not change their perception. They will not know what to do. I swear they won't. They just jump around. La, 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 la. Sit down. La, 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 la. Sit down. La, la, la. Listen, nigga. <laughs> Sit your ass down. I guarantee the little child be like, damn, I'm gangster. What the hell? She must be listening to 50 Cent and Wiz Khalifa. What the hell? It's about an authoritative tone. That's what the hell it is, you know what I'm saying? But I'm sick and tired of it. I go to the damn malls and I see the situation. The little kid just spazzing out and the mom don't know what to do. She just sitting there just... <laughs> Jenny, why don't, you just, why don't you just do what I tell you? Why don't you just listen? And a little kid get all disrespectful like, I don't know! <laughs> How come you can't be a good mom? Margaret? <laughs> Margaret, Margaret, that's the shit I don't like. Fuck these make-believe rules up in your damn bird. Call the parent out by her first name. I wish I would call my mom's out by her first name. I would no longer have a mouth on my face, do you hear me? I'd be talking from a hole in my neck. Like Terry off the smoking commercials. You ever seen that? Before? Just watch it cause you know we gonna end up fucking Always say I'm acting weird and shit I ain't really trying to hear that 